Good evening, everyone. I'm Luke Notstein. Carolina Day hosting the largest holiday basketball tournament in Western North Carolina. 32 teams competing over the next several days in the WNC Holiday Classic. Carolina Day taking on St. David's today at Kimmel Arena. Second quarter, Tess Harris drives past her defender and shows off a good touch around the rim to put the Wildcats up 19-13. A couple of plays later, Tess Harris showing off the range, knocking down the triple from the wing to increase the lead. And then Raylene Kwiatkowski finds Casey Yarborough for the layup in transition as Carolina Day gets the win, beating St. David's 53-31. The Smoky Mountain boys team looking to remain unbeaten this season, taking on North Buncombe. The Mustangs getting off to a good start as Jace Wolf hangs and hits the bucket for two of his ten points. Later in the game, Jordan Couch finds Spencer Norris, who puts in two of his game-high 31 points. The Blackhawks would hang tough, though, thanks to their star player Daniel Burkett, who stops, pops, and drops the triple. Burkett scores his 1,000th career point in this game, but it was too much of the Mustangs. This evening, as Cal Raleigh, the Clemson baseball recruit, drives to the rim, misses the shot, but gets his own rebound and puts it in to score two of his 14 points. Smoky Mountain is still unbeaten. They're 10-0. They beat North Buncombe 92-67. to Now the North Buncombe girls basketball team taking on Smoky Mountain, also at Reynolds today, early in this game. Maite Gonzalez finds Kelsey McCone. Nice pass for the layup off the glass. Part of a 10-0 run for the Blackhawks in the first quarter of this game. A little bit later on, Smoky Mountain's Rihanna Lehman drives to the hoop and finishes the play off the window. But North Buncombe would be tough to stop underneath the basket all day long. Trenna Worley misses the short jumper but gets her own board and scores. North Buncombe beats Smoky Mountain on the girls' side 55-39. On Saturday afternoon, the Tar Heel football team will take on Cincinnati in the Belk Bowl. It's about as close to a home game as Carolina could get, with the contest being held in Charlotte. The Tar Heels won five of their last six ball games to finish strong and build some momentum as they get ready for Saturday's big game. Sophomore quarterback Marquise Williams took over the starting job after Bryn Renner got hurt back on November 2nd. In just five games, Williams has accounted for 14 passing touchdowns and six rushing touchdowns. He says that he can't wait to play against Cincinnati in his hometown of Charlotte. It's going to be an awesome crowd for me and the fans and uh, some of the guys on the team, but it's awesome because, I mean, this is basically where our alumni is at in Charlotte, and we're going to be a wonderful crowd for us, and hopefully we can put on a show for them. Carolina and Cincinnati are set to kick off Saturday afternoon at 3.20.